and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be video number two in the med school 101 series and this video is for all of the graduates the people that are in an undergraduate degree at the moment those that have completed one and have been doing their honors their masters or any other postgrad degree and are still looking into getting into medical school because that's your dream and that's your passion then this video is definitely for you so I hope you guys enjoy the video if you have any other questions beyond what I've covered in the scope of this video then do leave them in the comments down below and I'll get around to answering them as soon as I can. I love you guys and until the next video, God ever stay blessing you. Before we jump straight into the graduate situation, I just want to address my in-betweeners, that's my grade 12s, that I guess already at this point know that they're not going to be able to make it into medical school with the marks that they have, maybe because you haven't received a conditional acceptance or even with the marks that you have um, with those universities that do still accept people after grade 11 or have a wide range of acceptance after grade 11, you know that your marks are not going to be good enough. And you don't want to go and do an undergraduate degree to go the long route to make it into medicine. You want to know what your options are. So your options would be that you can write the supplementary exams that are written in March, if I'm not mistaken, of the following year um, after your uh, matric season or rather exam season is over i can stand to be corrected if anybody knows the exact um dates please do put them down below i'll also do some research so that i can put them in the description box for you but you can write those supplementary exams and all you need to do to write those supplementary exams is you need to prove to the government or the nsc <laughs> maybe government is a bit dramatic that for you to get into the program of your choice you've met all the other requirements but you just need to upgrade your marks a little bit in this subject or the other and the primary subjects you'd be focusing on would be mathematics physical sciences and life sciences and english for medicine so if you can prove that you need to just upgrade a little bit to meet the requirements of the degree that you want to get into then you can write the supplementary exams i guess that would mean that they wouldn't be written so late so maybe they're written like around the december january period i'm really not 100 percent sure i'm sorry about that but i will check for you so that's the option that you have um to i guess get your marks in before you have to go and do a university degree university degree the other option for you is you can take a gap year and basically just upgrade your matric marks so that would mean that you'd spend the whole year studying and then you'd write exams when everybody writes exams meaning you'd write the final year exams at the end of the year so that's your other option I mean June and final year exams at the end of the year so that would be your other option if unfortunately I guess you don't manage to supplement in time or you have a whole array of subjects that you need to upgrade then you can and actually just upgrade your entire year and basically redo your matric and then try and apply again with those marks so those are the two options that you have either supplementary exams or upgrade your matric year if you're in matric and you don't want to go in and do a university degree to get into medicine Okay, so now that we've addressed our in-betweeners, I'm sure that I'm left with those of you that are already in an undergraduate degree program and you'd like to know how to get into medical school from your undergrad degree program. So I'm going to start with my program, which is the VITS Graduate Entry Medical Program. And that program basically allows you to skip first year and second year of medical school and you get into third year of medical school, which is great, which is why I think it's the best program for graduates or for those of us that didn't make it into medical school from first year because it gives you that leeway of jumping two years unlike other degree programs where you have to start from first year and um, the other options you have is UP gives you six months off and UCT gives you a year off so at least UCT you can start in second year UP you can start first year still but in June and then VITS you skip a whole two years so in terms of the grading <laughs> of the programs, obviously skipping two years is more valuable than just six months. So how the GMP works is that you're going to need to write an aptitude placement test known as the WACT. Now the WACT is written around August to October of every year and to qualify to write that exam you just need 60% on your final year mark. To get into the exam now the issue with that is that you will get that 60 percent and then you will write the exam and you will pass the exam but if your marks are at 60 percent you're not going to make it into the program because 60 percent unfortunately to make it in the program is a long shot of being good enough so how do they weigh the marks which marks count 
the marks that count as your final two years of study. So if you're in a three-year degree program, it means that your second year and your final year are going to the, be the marks that they put together average and take that as your score to qualify you for um, the GMP. And if it's a four-year degree program, that would mean third year and fourth year are important. If you are an honor student now, it means that they're going to take your final year of your undergraduate degree and your honors program, put those together, and that's going to be your application mark. So you guys can get <laughs> which marks you need to be putting together to see if you qualify for the program. So what does that mark need to be? If you have a 60%, unfortunately, in the bluntest way possible and not trying to be mean, you're not going to make it into the program because that is an insanely average mark. Because if you think about it, if they get about 5,000 applicants for the GMP, all 5,000 of those people have 60%. They can all write the exam, meaning technically all 5,000 of them should get in, but that's not possible because in the program there's only probably max like about 110 spaces, between 100 and 110 spaces. So if all 5,000 of you have 60%, the chances of you getting in are extremely slim. So the marks that you need to be thinking around or working around to have a good shot at getting into the GMP is somewhere around 70% and above, which does sound like a lot and maybe yes it is a lot, but unfortunately this route does take a little bit more oomph, a little bit more hard work than making it straight from the trick because now this is university level work, which is significantly more challenging than high school work. So if you're in second year right now and you can already see that your marks are not looking up and you're not seeing yourself getting a 70 in that year unless if you're going to pull a miracle and get above an 85 in final year you're going to need to do an um postgraduate program so you're going to do you need to consider doing an honors degree and obviously in that honors degree you're going to need to achieve a 70 and above so at least in your final year of study and your honors degree program when they add those two marks together and average them you're going to have a good mark or a good application mark for the gmp now the nice thing about being a postgrad is that you do get points for the level of postgraduateness that you've achieved. So if you're an honor student, you would get, let's say, for instance, one point on top of whatever mark that you have. If you're a master student, you'll get two points on top of whatever mark that you have. And if you're a PhD student, uh, da, 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 da. I don't think you can go above PhD, but or you could be a prof, but I don't think profs would be applying for medicine at this level. But basically you get pointed for the level of um postgraduateness that you've achieved okay which is great um so if you are at that level don't be discouraged you will get points for that but unfortunately your marks still need to be up to scratch now moving into the gmp requirements you're going to need to have completed biology physical sciences and mathematics at a first year level in your undergraduate degree so you would have needed to achieve 50% for those subjects, um, whether it was a half year course or a full year course, and you have to do them. You can't get into the GMP without having done those courses. The nice thing about it though is that you can apply to complete these courses at WITS. Um, the year before you apply uh, for you to have done them for the year for a half course or a full course um, that will count in your favor when you're applying because it doesn't have to be done within the scope of a full degree. You just need to have completed that six months of chemistry, that six months of physics and that six months of maths and biology to qualify for the program. So once you've met the requirements and you have all of your things in order, you've done your half courses, your full courses, also you've done your English, hopefully, at high school level or at a university level, and now you know that everything that you need in terms of your application for your marks is in order, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into the VITS website. I'm going to put all of that in the description box down below. You're going to need to apply, and the closing date for those applications is the 30th of June. So you need to have submitted all of your application documents and all of the supporting documentation for your application by the 30th of June or else you won't be able to apply or rather qualify for the program because you would have been trying to apply past the due date. So be sure to apply before the 30th of June because that is when the closing date is. Also make sure that when you do apply, be sure that you're clicking the right year of study because you can apply obviously for medicine at WITS from first, first year, but there's also a third year option. So whether you're doing a paper application, an online application, be sure to click third year of study on your application and not first year of study because then you'd be applying to go back to first year, which none of you want to do. So be sure to click the right option when you're applying because it's very easy to make that mistake. 
Now, the WACT exam covers anatomy, physiology, and molecular medicine. So those are the three uh, sections that are covered in the exam. Fortunately, all of the information in terms of the content that is examined is available on the WITS website. I will also put that in the description box below so that you can have a look at that. It is a lot of content because it is technically two years of study or two years worth of study material that is covered in the WACT. However, you do need to go over that material because if you're skipping those two years of study, you would need to know that information because by the time you step into third year, it's expected or it's implied that you already know that information because you passed the exam. So I will put that in the description box. Make sure to have a look at it and look at it. If you're um, planning on writing the exam, make sure that you do study because the WAPT is a really difficult test, guys. It's two years worth of work. And I think the scope is about 300 questions covering different sections. I think it's about 100 marks each section, if I'm not mistaken. So obviously, the pool of questions that they have to choose from is extremely wide because there is two years worth of work. So the chances that you're going to get a question from some random section that you maybe didn't look into because you didn't study thoroughly is very, very high. So you need to make sure that you position yourself in the best way that you're very, very prepared for the exam so that you can write the exam and pass it. Because unfortunately, whether you feel you are a worthy candidate for the program or not, if you don't make it past the wept stage you're not going to get anywhere because you're obviously not going to be considered for the program because you haven't passed the do you know the years that you're skipping section so be sure to study for the exam spend time studying for the exam the main thing you're going to need to focus on is anatomy especially if it's something that's unfamiliar to you anatomy is very difficult to grasp it's a lot of content a lot of understanding that needs to go behind it so if you're new to the medical sphere of those three things that I would say you really need to focus on would be anatomy, get a tutor, VITS is great because it has tutoring programs and you can um, engage with tutors, engage with people that have written the WAPT before, try find somebody to help you, um, do seek information at the university because that information is available to you, there's tutoring classes, there's mock tests that they do now, like mock WAPT tests which is great so you can test your knowledge before you even go write the exam, they set them with some of the lectures so it's a really great environment for you to be well prepared for the exam so you need to invest in that because that's your first step your first foot in the door in getting in the GMP program is passing that test so if you can take some time of work if you're working if you can I don't know figure out how to manage your time all the way from your holidays in December till the time of the exam do so because it's really important that you pass this exam okay so now we're at I've written the WAPT now what so once you've written the WAPT the WAPT obviously needs to be marked. So the tricky thing about the WAPT exam is that there's three components like I've mentioned and they're marked individually and they need to be passed separately. So you need to pass anatomical sciences with a 50%, you need to pass physiology with a 50% and molecular medicine with a 50%. So if you fail one of these components, unfortunately you don't pass the exam and you need to rewrite the exam the following year between August and October of that year. So it's really important for you to, like I said, focus on passing those exams because they're really, really important. Now, once you've passed the WAPT exam, you don't automatically then qualify for being a GIMP candidate, or rather you're not automatically entered into the GMP program. You still have to be weighted against other contestants or other candidates for the program. Now, how this is done is through the composite index score, where basically they take your marks, which is your final year final two years of study average together and then those extra points that you score if you're postgrad. And after calculating all of those, they compare everybody and then they do the selection process and then you get invited to the WACT or rather the GMP program. And keep entertaining those, you get invited into the GMP program. It's really important for you to make sure that your marks are at least a 70% because if you're sitting at a 60, you're kind of reaching because before they get to you, they would have already passed their 110 um, or 100 candidate quota. So do make sure that you pass those components. Do make sure that your marks put you in a good position to get into the program. Now, moving out of the VIT space, <laughs> finally, um, there are other options for you to apply. There's the other universities that offer medicine in this country that you can apply to. And unfortunately, with these universities, they don't have any sort of graduate entry medical system, except for UCT, which has like the best comparison because you enter their medical program at second year also only if you've met the requirements by having completed the subjects that their students would have done in first year so you would have needed to do biology you'd have needed to do physical science
sciences and chemistry if you haven't done those unfortunately you're going to need to start all the way from first year so the other universities you're going to need to start from first year second year third year going up but the principle still applies your marks need to be good for you to be able to apply for the program and for you to have a good position or rather a good chance of getting into the program your marks need to be good it's just harder to get into a university obviously where their preference is high school students so they don't have a dedicated program for graduates to get into those programs but there is still a chance for you to get into their medical programs because they do have some spaces for graduates so that is your other option so really just apply everywhere i would say um, when you do apply just like after applying from from the trick rather you would apply at every single university so that when you do apply the chances of you getting into the program are much higher i only applied at vits though because i wasn't um I don't know if I can say interested, but I wasn't willing to start from scratch because I did medical sciences and in medical sciences I covered a good amount of work that was done in first year and second year, that being chemistry, physics, biology, I did all of that. So wrapping my mind around having to do that again when I had done it already was a little bit difficult for me, so I decided not to do that, but obviously I focused all of my energy into making sure that I was well a well-suited candidate for the GEMP program. So those options are available to you if you don't mind starting from first year and you really just want to achieve the dream at any cost, then you can definitely apply at every other university in the country. Those details will also be in the description box down below. But the primary option for me that I would say is the best for graduates, again, I will repeat, is the Graduate Entry Medical Program at VIT, second being UCT and third being UP because at least you get six months off of there and you don't have to start from... <laughs> which obviously makes it a lot worse so that's pretty much it for the graduates there really isn't like a lot of different avenues and options and all of that really it really is just about making sure that your marks are good positioning yourself in the best way that you can to make it into your program um, and then obviously oh sorry I forgot to mention that if you're already in a university um, I know that at UP yeah, VITS doesn't do that because they have a GMP, but at UP, you can apply for medicine every year. So if you're already in a degree program, meaning like, let's say for me, I was in medical sciences, every single year when it's an application season, you can apply to get into medicine for a transfer into medicine, and you will be transferred into medicine, but you would be going back to first year, second semester. So if I had applied, let's say, in final year for medicine, and I was accepted, I would be accepted for second semester for the following year. So at any point in your degree program, program at UP specifically you can apply for medicine and you can get accepted however obviously the degree that you're in if you don't finish it if you're in second year for instance unfortunately you don't get any points for that that's just null and void and you're going to go into medicine and you'd be starting a fresh undergraduate degree I had forgotten that fact and I just needed to add that in there because that is another option for people that are already doing undergraduate degrees. So I hope this answers a good amount of your questions. I know that this isn't like 15 million options, a great array of options. Unfortunately, it is a little bit tougher as a graduate to make it into the program and it is a little bit tougher because you have a narrow range of options. But if you really, really want to do it and if you really are determined, you can make sure that you work hard, position yourself the best that best way that you can and with a lot of faith and a lot of hard work you'll eventually make it into the program provided that you don't give up on your dream but until the next video i love you guys and god ever stay blessing you any questions again description box most of the answers will be there and then any questions leave them in the comments and i'll have a look at them for you guys but until next time also yes please tell me what other videos you want to see in the med school series i've forgotten that point but anyway bye guys Mwah.